I want to thank everyone for taking the time and uh, joining us uh, this evening. My name is Roland. I'm one of the technical trainers here at 3CX. And today I will be, I will be presenting the 3CX web meeting version 8. So uh, throughout this presentation, please note that I do have you muted uh, just so we do not disturb any um, other participants. Uh, if you do have a question, please feel free to interrupt me at any moment uh, that you like. You can insert your message in the bottom right-hand corner in the chat panel. Uh, otherwise, you may use the React button. Uh, there is a React button all the way up top. If you take a look, uh, there is a hand, agree, disagree, question, uh, like, dislike. Okay, I will keep an eye out on these little uh, uh, notifications and I will attend to your um, uh, questions. Uh, in addition to that, uh, after the presentation, we will we'll have some time to, uh, uh, you, you have the time to ask questions and uh, uh, it's, uh, I can answer all the questions that you like. In fact, I can also give you my email address. If you have any questions after uh, the presentation, please do not hesitate. Uh, just shoot me an email regarding this module only, please. Uh, so. If you have any technical difficulty or uh, support questions, please open a support ticket uh, as I cannot create uh, or do uh, interact with you via email regarding any technical difficulties that you might have. Now, uh, today, for those of you who are new to this, uh, do not feel intimidated by any uh, sort. This is uh, the chance for you to understand uh, what Web Meeting version 8 is all about with all its features. Now, for those of you who uh, are not new and have had a little hands-on experience on this version, uh, you will get to, you will be introduced to the new features uh, that we have to offer in version 8, okay? So let's get started. Now, what is Web Meeting? Web Meeting version 8 is simply a collaboration platform. It's a clientless collaboration platform. This is the simplest form you can define it. Now, what are the advantages of this collaboration platform? First off, your participants do not need to install any heavy software on their machine, okay? This is clientless, meaning it runs right off your browser. And in addition to that, you have registrations can be made seamlessly. You know, you can go in uh, with a quick uh, two-step uh, process. You can click on a link, insert your name, and you're joined in a meeting. You do not need to go through pages and pages of forms, uh, fill in your name, your email address, uh, perhaps you might give a credit card number uh, and uh, with some additional information, okay? This uh, registers uh, on the fly. So to sum it up, you have, all you need is your Google Chrome browser. Now using that, you can collaborate. You have the ability to share documents, you can co-browse, you can use polling, uh, React, remote assistance. Now, these are these little features we will talk about later on throughout this presentation. Now, the bottom line is, the point that I'm trying to make here is that it is easy to use. It has a clean interface to it. As you can see, it's not so complicated, okay? It uses your standard PC hardware. You do not need to buy any additional um, equipment just to accommodate uh, web meeting and it's based on WebRTC standards. Now, what does that mean? What is WebRTC? Okay, this brings me to the next point that I would like to make. So I could not define it any better. Uh, our CEO, Mr. Uh, Nick Galea has defined it, okay? And I quote, WebRTC stands for Web Real-Time Communications. It is a technology supported by the World Wide Web Consortium that allows open standard browsers to communicate with each other and exchange audio, video, and even files using a simple script-based API. WebRTC effectively gives users the ability to make audio or video calls with each other without requiring a plugin or any additional software to be installed. Bottom line is, it allows you to certain standard that you can exchange audio and video and even files right off your browser, your Chrome browser. Any questions so far? Okay, let's move forward. Now, uh, what are the web meeting requirements? 
Uh, Roger, we're, uh, we have a question. Why limited to just Chrome? Uh, right now, uh, we are working on expanding. We have Chrome, uh, we have Opera, okay? Uh, and we are working in the future. We are, uh, we will be, I cannot give you an estimated time, but we will be adopting additional uh, browsers. So, uh, to pinpoint Roger, it, this is a certain standard developed by Chrome, okay? So uh, this is where we adopt and uh, this is what we're, um, we're lifting off to. Right. And there you go. Nicholas has an answer for you too. So web meeting requirements, what are they? 3CX web meeting version eight, you will need version seven and up. You have the ability to use uh, Linux. You can use Mac uh, operating systems from uh, version 10 and up, and you have Android as well, okay? You can use your Android and you can attend to meetings right off the palm of your hands, okay? If you have a Chrome browser, you can use that and you can attend uh, anywhere you're at. 3CX architecture, what is it? It's a, uh, it's a client to server architecture, not a peer to peer connection, and it uses encryption over SSL and SRTP. What's new in version eight? Well, if for those of you who have used it, version eight have uh, downloaded it and used it, you have the ability to record these uh, meetings can be recorded. You have the ability to click on start record. And then what happens is after you're done with the meeting, you can go back. The administrator can retrieve this recording in an MP4 format. You have remote assistance. What is remote assistance? Remote assistance is when a participant such as yourselves can click on request assistance. The organizer such as myself gets a notification that somebody has requested so and so has requested this um, particular assistance and then uh, i will accept it and i will go ahead and uh, i have control over the machine polling what is polling polling is another way of uh, creating surveys we will go through a a little demonstration of a, a polling or a survey that i will launch uh, so we can get a, a survey on which uh, version you would like to see demonstrated today. Additions to existing features. You have screen sharing. This was in the version uh, previous version. Screen sharing is simple. You click on uh, screen sharing. It allows you to share uh, your entire screen, part of your screen, or an actual application running on your screen. The chat, we all know. Co-browsing is another way of sharing with the participants a particular website that you would like to share. So I would go, I would click on co-browsing, I would go to the website that I would like to share, and then I would click on share. And it will automatically launch the uh, website to my participants on their own browser. Feedback reaction, we all know if you click on react, you have um, hand, agree, disagree, question, like, dislike. Thank you, Nicholas. Thank you for liking it. Now, what are the different versions that we have? You probably heard the integrated uh, hosted on premise, but you're unsure. Well, integrated version is managed via the 3CX PBX management console. Okay, this is where you will go and uh, you will configure your web meeting. Okay, and then you will use the 3CX phone clients to create and join meetings. That is the integrated version. Then you have the hosted version. The hosted version is managed through the 3CX web meeting portal. Okay, and you will uh, use the web to access, create, and join the meetings. Um, now, the on-premise, the on-premise is the big boy. Everyone uh, who wants to use this, this is an on-site server, okay? It's managed on your own 
Web Management Console and is used via your local web portal. Okay, everything is hosted at your location. We do not host anything for you. This is an installation for enterprise installations or if you want to become your own reseller. Clear. I will take that as a yes. No, no, that's not an integrated. You cannot integrate it with a 3CX management, uh, with a PBX. That's a standalone. It's required to install, to be installed on its dedicated server. And you cannot install it on the same um, machine as the PBX. Now, the integrated version, there are three steps, three simple steps in order to activate it. The first step is to log in into your management console and click on the web meeting node. There you will see three tabs. You will see the activate license, account management, and uh, user, uh, users in access. So uh, initial step, you will insert your uh, web meeting key. Insert the information, company name, contact name, email address, telephone number, and uh, your country. And then you will click on activate, which will take you to your next tab. Okay, after your key has been activated, you will go to the next tab. And here you will be able to uh, establish your um, portal. So, the initial step would be to select your region. If you're located in Europe, you will select Europe. If you're located in the US, you will select US. And if you're located in Asia, you will select Asia. Now, notice the next uh, option there is web meeting location. You will always want to select the closest location to you. Why that is, this is closer because it will, it will render, you will be in contact with the closest MCU. What's the advantage? The advantage to that is because you will get a better experience with web meeting. Your video experience will be better, okay? If the machine will render better the uh, video uh, streams because it's not so distant. Um, now, the next step, you have account URL. Account URL, you wanna pay attention to what you put there because this is what the recipients, the participants will see when they're uh, sent a invitation. In most cases, companies will put their um, company name there. Uh, John, you don't have sound. You might want to uh, check your settings in the top right-hand corner. There's a little um, icon, like a little video a little video camera, if you click on it, it will uh, ask you to select uh, the audio and video. And then you might want to refresh your, uh, your browser. Last step for the integrated. We have uh, on the left-hand side, you have the a uh, list of extensions that are available in your PBX. And on the right-hand side are the extensions on which you want to grant permission to be able to generate and create web meetings right off their 3CX phone client, okay? Keep in mind one thing to note here is that if you do not have an email address specified for the extensions in your PBX, you will not be able to uh, see those um, extensions on the left hand side so after you move the extension from the left to the right it means that you have granted it the permission to create web meetings okay you want to select it highlight it click on add and it will move it to the right hand side yes ahmed uh, the reason you you do that is because you have to activate it means that you're not using version 14, you're using version 12 or 12.5. In order to see the two additional tabs, you would work, uh, first have to activate your license. And then you will be able to uh, see the two additional tabs.
Are we clear on the integrated? Okay, so with these three steps, uh, you have uh, the following, these three simple steps, if I may. You have a personalized access link, which it's up to you. You can configure to your liking. Uh, you get up to 100 participants. You get uh, free 100 megabytes of data storage uh, for document sharing, of course. And you get up to 10 simultaneous participants for free till 2015. Okay. Now, what does 10 simultaneous participants mean? It means that you can have one meeting, which equals to one moderator plus nine participants, or you can have two meetings, one moderator, and four participants. The hosted version. The hosted version means that we will be hosting everything for you and you do not need to have the PBX. Um, you do not need the 3CX PBX. If you don't want to use it, that's fine. We can host the web meetings for you. Now to get to the uh, web meeting uh, hosted uh, site, you can either copy the uh, link on the slides or if you go to 3cx.com, click on products, then web meeting, you will see the hosted form, okay? Now, on the hosted form, you will be required to fill out a couple of information, such as uh, selecting your region, your web meeting location. We talked about those. You want to always select the closest one to you. And the account URL. Pay attention to what you put for the URL because it's always going to be uh, viewed by the participants. Account email, account password, confirm your account password, and of course, uh, your name, surname, company, and telephone number. Now, once you click on start 30-day trial, you will receive an email. The email will include all the information you need. It will have your account uh, email, the email that you've used, the password, uh, the link on which you can access your web portal. And of course, it will have the administrative manual and the user manual. Keep in mind, this is a 30-day trial. You get up to 10 participants for free and no credit card details are required. This is the hosted for you. Now, what do you get with the hosted? You get unlimited users from web portal interface. You get up to 100 participants possible. You get 100 megabytes of data storage for document sharing, for surveys and polling. And of course, you get recordings. You have the ability to enable the uh, recordings. Okay, then the administrator after, uh, say, for example, a uh, webinar has been recorded, the administrator can retrieve, go back into the meeting and then retrieve that recording as an MP4. You can download it and view it. Gaurav, after 30 days, your portal will expire. If you like it, you can contact your sales rep and they can create a hosted one for you. They will give you a license key. And you can purchase the license key. That is correct, uh, Lazio. You get the participants free and the integrated as well. Collins, is the trial version available for those in Africa? Of course, it's available for everybody. Ahmed, uh, between users and... Uh, Ahmed, can you please elaborate on your uh, question? I'm not really following your question. Uh, users, oh, difference between users and participants. So uh, the user can be an organizer, uh, can be the moderator, and can be a participant. So if 
I apologize if I confused you. When I say users, I mean in general the people who use web meeting. But uh, let's step. Let's go a step backwards. The organizer is the person who organizes the meeting. Okay, he has control. He or she have control over everything. Now, in the event that the organizer decides wants to give some uh, privileges to another person, they will make that other person the moderator. Okay, so now the moderator has the permission to share screen, to co-browse, react, and provide remote assistance with the exception of polling. Okay, and the remaining of the uh, people in the meeting are just participants. I hope that was clear. Sally, I'm currently using version 12 and paid for 10 web meeting users. How many do I get with uh, a version 14? I believe that's the uh, same amount that you paid for, Sally. Uh, if you want, I can send you the link to, uh, just bear with me one moment, to the pricing. Uh, I think you'd be best off if you were to talk to your sales rep regarding uh, this, but bear with me just one moment. I will send you the link and you can uh, see the pricing. Where did it go? Pricing, there we go. Okay, Sally, uh, Scott, sorry. Who was it who asked me that question? Yes, Scott. Uh, you now have the uh, link for the pricing. Yes, that is correct, Scott. You can activate. Uh, well, on the 12.5, you cannot. Version 14, you can use the free. You can use the 10, even though you have a license purchased already. Yes. And Lazio, is the 10 free license limit for 30 days as well for the integrated? No, the 10 free is valid for one year, Lazio. Valid for one year. The 30 days is the trial. Okay, this is if you're using the trial version, excuse me, the hosted version. Okay, that's valid for 30 days. And then if you like it, you can go back and you can purchase uh, a hosted uh, license. Moving forward. Now, um, last but not least, we have the on-premise. The on-premise is used for enterprise installations, okay? Uh, or if you want to become your own reseller. This is a five-step uh, process installation, simple, and you get the full function and feature sets, okay? You get no restrictions. No restrictions, such as no storage restrictions. You have the ability to, uh, if you have a big server, you can utilize all the, uh, all the storage disk space on it. Uh, you can enable meeting pins. What are meeting pins? You can, uh, once you enable, uh, create a meeting, you can trigger a meeting pin and only the participants who have that meeting pin can attend to those meetings. And then of course you have a uh, fully uh, flexible, it's fully flexible and you can manipulate the video quality options to accommodate uh, your bandwidth. Okay. So remember, key point on this one is that we do not host anything for you on the on-premise. You will simply download the installation package, okay? After, of course, you purchase your uh, license key, you will activate it, install it, of course, install it, activate it, and then uh, you host it on your own server. On-premise, what do you get? You get a fully customized uh, URL, 
could be your company name. You have unlimited portals. You have up to 250 participants per server. Okay, and then you can limit participants per portal. What does that mean? If you have a 250 participant license key and you have, uh, say, uh, 10 portals, you can go in and you can modify and restrict certain portals. You can limit them of using uh, 10 participants of that license key. So you can go portal A can only use 10 participants. Portal B can use 16, portal C can use 50. MCU location, you can select any location. You can even set default locations for each uh, portal. So if you have one portal that you have created and it's used in Africa, they will use X MCU. You can use the MCUs in South Africa. If you have a uh, portal that is used in the US, they can use uh, the MCUs, East Coast, West Coast, um, in the US. Same thing for Europe. Last but not least, you have, uh, you can use your own SMTP server. That's it. Simple. Any questions? So, um, these are pretty self-explanatory. I would like to leave you with some uh, uh, tips on how to get a better experience in your uh, uh, conferencing uh, meetings when you're using uh, version eight. Uh, you do, you do, you might want to use a unicolor background, uh, use a good headset, a microphone, don't go cheap. Uh, use a good web camera, use sufficient client hardware resources, and of course, uh, bandwidth. Some things you want to avoid is backlight, noisy rooms, and no pattern clothing. Any questions on the slides? Colin, is the 3CX web meeting server version uh, different from the 3CX online system? Yes. So I will, uh, we're going to take a poll right now, majority wins. So whichever one, uh, the majority wins, I will demonstrate it. But to answer your question, Colin, yes, you will. Like, as I said, if you're using the web meeting, um, three CX, the integrated version, the, you will manage and create the meetings from your three CX phone. Okay, if you're using just the server itself, the 3CX web server, the standalone, the excuse me, the on premise, the on premise version, you will uh, access it from your URL. There is a, a an administrative console where you can log in and you can create the meetings. Um, Mark, out of interest, what headset are you using? Uh, the ones I'm using right now, I believe they are uh, had Jabra's. Nicholas, uh, any other questions? Okay, so let's go ahead and we're going to create. Uh, please take a moment and answer your poll. The uh, survey. There we go. Oh, wow. This is pretty. Okay, we're 68%. And I had a feeling A would win, but we're not there yet. Okay, we are, place your, place your votes for 71%, please. Yes, Andres, of course, uh, the on-premise, of course you can use the poll. 
the only way you cannot use the integrated version, you do not have polling. The hosted and the on-premise, yes. 77%. Going once, going twice. <laughs> All right, I think we're stuck at 77. I forgot to ask, I had uh, someone, I think Colin, how you had problems with your uh, microphone, uh, excuse me, your uh, audio, was that resolved? Collins, 81%. You're okay with the audio. Thank you. Okay, so the majority wins. We have, um, I will demonstrate the setup integration with the 3CX uh, phone system. So what I'm going to do right now is I will share my screen. Just bear with me one moment while I pull up my uh, machine. So now all of you should be seeing my monitor. So right now what we have here is version 14. Okay, so the very first thing that you want to do when you uh, want to activate a uh, web meeting, you will log in into the management console, 3CX phone system management console. If you notice version 14, the web meeting node has been exposed and is the fifth one uh, down the line starting from the top. If you're using version 12 or 12.5, um, you will need to click on the settings and then you will find the node under settings. So after you click on web meeting, uh, as an initial step, you are required to insert your web meeting key. So let me insert my key. Please do not copy my key. Otherwise, I will need to disable it. And I will click on enter new 3CX web meeting key. It's already there for me. Let me use this one. I will put in my key, company name, contact name, email, telephone, and the country. Suppose I'm located in the US. I'll click on activate. And license key was successfully activated. Step one is done. I will then go to account management. I will select my region. And then I will select a web meeting location. What, where am I located? I am on East Coast. And then I can select East Coast too if I wanted. Doesn't matter. And now I will specify an account URL. Typically it would be the company name, but in my case, I will name it Roland Web Meeting Portal. That's it. Now, I will select an account administrator. These account administrators will be selected from the extensions in the PBX. Right now, I have only three in my uh, PBX. So I will select extension 104. I want extension 104 to be the administrator and I will put in a password. Click on create account. And your 3CX web meeting account has been created. Last step. I will grant permission to the users that I want them to be able to uh, generate and create these web meetings from their 3CX phone. So right now, as I said, I only have two people in my PBX because this is just a testing uh, environment. Now I move them all, I click on save, and that's it. 
three simple steps. Now, suppose extension 104 says, okay, let me go see if I can create my meetings. They will go into the 3CX phone, click on the conferencing uh, button, and then right there, they will see those two options immediately appear. So let's create one. Say extension uh, 105, we've just uh, been granted permission to create these meetings. And they want to create one on the fly. So uh, suppose uh, you want to invite somebody that uh, is not part of your address book, is not in your address book. So let's say I want to invite my brother, for example. I'll put in the name. Click on add, then I'll click on next. I will insert the subject. Let's say um, you know, web meeting, intro, and some notes. Please attend meeting. Here I can schedule a time to be later on throughout the day, or I can uh, schedule it on the fly. If you uh, schedule it uh, later on throughout the day, you wanna click on schedule. If you uh, decide that you wanna join immediately, you can click on start now. Once you click on start now, it will log you in automatically in the meeting. Some of the uh, features are included. Additional features are included on the on-premise and on the hosted, such as recording, of course. Okay, you can enable it from the on-premise version, not on the integrated. This is the integrated, again, this is the integrated, this is not the on-premise, nor the hosted. Any questions? Let's see, no, Ahmed, you need, that was answered. Can I add mail ID? Um, Gaurav, I'm gonna assume you want to, uh, what exactly do you mean by uh, mail ID of participant? Can you please elaborate on that so I can give you an accurate, how do you send link? Okay, that's your question. So the link, um, let me share my screen. <clears throat> Where are you? Let me see. So to send the link, You will click on meeting info. You can copy this link and send it to the recipient. This is somebody assuming that you have forgotten to send them, uh, add them to the, um, when you're generating the meeting. So if you've forgotten to specify the email address in the beginning or retrieve the email address from the address book, you wanna send this open link, email it to them. Once they click on it, they will only be required to insert their name and then click on login. Andreas had a question. One moment. Uh, you cannot upload anything other than PDF and uh, PowerPoint. That is uh, that is correct, Andreas. Uh, PDF momentarily uh, is unsupported, but it is in the works. I cannot disclose uh, ETA on it, but uh, this is definitely something that you uh, can look out for in the future. Marcelo, how many simultaneous calls we can have using uh, WebRTC Gateway? The WebRTC Gateway is a one-to-one -one relation. You can only have two uh, entities at the time. The web meeting is a one-to-many. 
uh, Scott, a participant needs to be able to uh, join before a start time. Uh, there needs to be some way to force a link to use Chrome. There is a uh, option, Scott, where you can in the on-premise, and uh, I believe there is one in the, uh, bear with me, let me pull that up. <clears throat> This is the option that you're looking for, Scott. Let meeting begin only when you are connected. If you disable that option, okay, the participants will be able to join uh, before the organizer does. Any further questions? That was Andreas. If you go to, um, so let's let's do this again. Create a meeting. You insert your participants' uh, email address, or you can, um, here, just so you can see it better. Uh, you can uh, add it from the phone book. If you click on next, and then you click on this little circle right here, you want to disable this. Okay, they will be able to join in before you do. So this is based on. Yeah, this is not the default, correct. This is something you will have to change. Uh, when you're going through the, uh, when you're creating the meeting. Yes, absolutely. You can, um, you can create users. So once you install the on-premise version, uh, there is an option where you can create, where you can add users and they will be able to uh, create web meetings. But as you see here on the on-premise, excuse me, the integrated. Let me share my screen again so you can see. We said this is how you give permission to the users to be able to create these meetings. So if you have user um, extension 101, or suppose right now extension 103 is not allowed, cannot but I want to enable them, I will click on them, add, save, now they have permission. Uh, Scott, I realize this, um, you know, it is in the works, that's all I can tell you right now. Um, uh, the only way around it is to set your, uh, I mean, you're going to need to set your uh, Chrome browser as default. No, uh, Lazio, I do not believe there's a change price, uh, but uh, just to be uh, certain, you might want to contact sales or refer to the, pre the link that I, uh, I've specified, I've sent in the chat. Uh, there you will get the most recent pricing. Michael, yes, but if I have a group of users and would like to give all of these users permission to create web meetings. Yes, that is the method to do it, Michael. You can add users from here. You would have to do it uh, manually and move one on the right hand side. In the on premise, you can create groups as well. Marcelo, how can I adjust video quality in web meeting integrated with 3CX? You do not have the option for that, Marcelo. 
we do that. We have control over it. The only way, if you want that option, you will need to um, either get the hosted version or you want to use the on-premise. Any further questions? Thank you, Marcelo. So, um, thank you everyone for uh, joining and taking the time uh, to join this uh, webinar. Keep an eye out, please. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, webinars scheduled throughout this week and the remainder of uh, the month and the following, of course. Uh, you, uh, my colleague and I will be performing these, uh, conducting these webinars uh, regarding the PBX version 14 and of course, uh, web meeting version eight. Uh, please keep an eye out on those. And, uh, I look forward to seeing, uh, all of you in the upcoming webinars. It was a pleasure. I see, uh, most of you, I recognize some from, uh, my previous, uh, webinars. And please do not hesitate to shoot me an email if you happen to think of any other questions uh, after this uh, presentation is over. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening, uh, wherever you are. I look forward to seeing you again. Goodbye. Thank you, Andreas. Bye-bye.